Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator. There's some new things that we gotta check out with the poison. There's a new electrocution update, and we can do some things with the weather. So we are gonna check that out right now. But I highlighted the things that I specifically wanna see. So here it goes. So as you guys can see right here, this is a list of all the new poison things that we can do. We already checked out three out of the four. The only one that we didn't check out was the headache one. It says, if you put a headache inducing substance into a student's bento, the student will visit the nurse and ask for medicine to numb the pain. This will cause the nurse to visit the medicine cabinet and retrieve some pills for the student. The students will eat the pills and then spend time resting on the couch in the infirmary until their headache goes away. And as for the electrocution method, drinking fountains have been added to the school and it is possible for Yan Chan to use the water from these fountains to wash the blood off of weapons. Yandere Chan can now find a large heavy pipe wrench in one of the school storage rooms. This wrench can be used as a murder weapon but can also be used to sabotage the pipes underneath drinking fountains which creates water puddles. Yan Chan can now find a power strip in the AV room. The power strip can be plugged into any wall socket that you might find. After plugging a power strip into the wall socket, Yanchan can use a screwdriver to expose the wiring of the power strip. If Yandere Chan flips a switch that activates a wall socket while the sabotage power strips in the puddle of water, the puddle will become electrified and will electrocute anyone who stands in it. And there is a new vending machine in the school that allows Yanchan to purchase a bag of chips. Yanchan can offer the chips to any student in school. After eating the chips, the student will become thirsty and will go to the nearest drinking fountain to drink water. And the last thing that I want to check out says, with the Easter egg menu open, press the F1 key to enable rain. Open the Easter egg menu a second time and press F1 again to put a raincoat on Yanchan. But he also says that he's not planning on putting this in the game. This is just for fun. So we are going to check out all those features right now in this episode. If you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody get ready and buckle up because here we go. So we already did emetic poison, lethal, and sedative in the previous episode. Uh -huh. We are going to try headache right now, the benzene, Pleasure. and we are going to see what that does. So let me grab this bad boy right over here. And before we do anything, let me open up the Easter egg menu and let's see that weather. Oh my god, that was loud as shit. That scared the hell out of me. Pussy. That was like a jump scare. So I guess having the rain with sounds of strong winds is pretty good, I guess. But let's, uh, what the heck? It's raining inside the classroom. So since anybody's eating bento, can we poison anybody's food? Let me try this. Let me try giggling. Okay, we got her attention. So I think we can poison her bento because she left it on the bench. Okay, so, uh, wait, what? Oh my god, I forgot. Okay, so laugh again. Okay, now it's Ryoto, holding nothing but fuckboyness. And we're gonna wait for him to come here, ring around the rosy. But we can't poison it, because everybody's looking. Well, maybe we can. There you go. Put a little spicy meatball inside the bento. Let me get a good old camera view right here. Let me throw a little pose. There we go. Get you some headache. Get you some, baby. How does that taste? How does my ass taste? I have a severe headache. Can you give me any medicine for it? And she's like, bitch? Wait, is she gonna get it? Okay, she is. She kind of went here for a second, like she didn't want to. But she's gonna walk over to the cabinet, and then she's gonna give him some of the good stuff. Right? I think. Is this the good stuff? No, that's a trank for the skanks. But she got the headache medicine. She gave him the good shit. And his head still hurts, but he's just gonna chill here. Alright, let's try this again, guys. But I'm gonna do something different. Can I steal her key still? Does she not have keys? Yeah, she doesn't have keys. Okay, I was gonna steal her keys so she couldn't open the cabinet, but she doesn't even have any more on that pumpkin ass anymore, so I can't do anything. Okay, so we definitely can't put the poison inside of Senpai's bento, right? Let me try laughing. Wait, maybe we can. Hold up, hold up, hold up. He's not gonna see me, I know he's not. Okay, as soon as he turns around, we got this. Poison that. Oh my god, we're about to do it. We're gonna poison our Senpai, but we're doing it because we love him. We want to poison him because we love him so goddamn much. Oh my god, you're so sexy, senpai. Wait. Are you okay? Are you okay? Did I, uh, glitch you out? Your knees are fused inside the bench. Um, please get sick. Please get sick! Come on, you rat bastard! Get sick! Here, let me try laughing again. Maybe I can snap him out of it. <laughs> there we go. That's the face we all know and love. Get your sweet ass over here, senpai! All right. So let's loop around again, and he saw me. Laugh. Okay, fuck boy, look again. He's coming around the corner, and poison it. Hurry up and poison it. Uh, headache poison, there we go. Put it inside of his bento. Bam. And I think we completely glitched him out, so that's never gonna happen. Let's restart this and try it again. So we put the emetic inside of here, and now we just gotta wait for showtime. Let's go right here. Let's throw up our pieces, because that's just what we do. And come on, throw up, senpai. Throw up for me, baby. Throw up for me, baby. 
Oh, yeah. That's the face we all know and love. That's my senpai holding his stomach from the poison. I love you, baby. So not only can we poison anybody's food, we get to hear some throwing up sound effects. I don't know how weird that sounds, but I'm actually looking forward to hearing these throwing up sound effects. So here we go. Jesus Christ. Oh, calm down, buddy. You okay in there? Fuck. Got some burps in there too. Okay, guys, I want to try out... What the heck did I just do? Um, I was gonna say I wanted to try out one more thing and I was gonna get more panty shots. I guess I activated this Easter egg. What so you... let's drop the emetic poison what? again. And before we get Senpai to go in there and start yakking, we're gonna leave a body inside of that toilet and let's see if he reacts. So let's put Midori right here inside the third floor bathroom. And now it's showtime. Wait a minute, why is Midori's body right there? And why the heck is this guy's nutsack in front of Senpai's face? Okay, hold on. We gotta pick her up again and we gotta put her back. Oh, this is gonna be crazy. I can't believe nobody even saw that. Why was she out there? Look at her long ass legs too. What the hell's going on with this NBA player looking ass Midori? Okay, let's put her back in here and now we can do showtime. I think when I teleported to the roof, her body went there too. But anyway, let's go around the corner and I'm really liking this background track. It's like super stealthy. No, I'm not trying to get you, you ascot wearing fuckboy. I'm trying to get my senpai. Oh my god, there you go, I got senpai. And the trick is, guys, to get him to go around here without noticing you, you just gotta run around the rails like this for some odd reason. And he won't leave. Alright, you know what? Forget about Midori, guys. We're gonna do this again. We're gonna get this guy to follow me, and we are gonna knifeu this Chef Boyardee looking ass over here. Wait, whoa, I'm not going in there with you, but you're a dude, though. You're a dude! Come on! I'm not even a dude and I'm going in here. Have some balls. All right, if he won't go in here, then we're just going to knife him out here. Mm. And now you're going to go inside the bathroom stall. So let me actually close the door right here. Senpai is going to come through any second. And he saw the body. Oh my god, is that a dead body? Yes, it is. Are you going to throw up on it? I'm getting out of here. But anyway, guys, enough of that poison stuff. We are going to check out the new electrocution method using the fountain that's right here. And there's other fountains around the school. I think there's one around the corner here. There's a couple on the second floor, a couple on the third floor. But first, we need a pipe wrench. And I know exactly where it is. I saw this hunk of junk that's when I was recording bitch. earlier. So we are going to grab the dumbbell, apparently. And let's go unscrew that fountain. Okay, let me actually do this on the second floor. Because everybody's going to be super suspicious when I have this big-ass pipe wrench in my hand. So let's create a leak right here. And the next thing that we need to do is we need to get like a power cord so we can plug it into here and then put it right there. Bada bing, bada boom. You guys already know what's going to happen with that. And if you guys don't know where to find it, you just got to stop by the audio visual room. Grab this power strip right here. Plug this bad girl into the socket just like so. Then all you got to do next is get your handy dandy screwdriver and sabotage this. And you know you did it right when the power cord starts to sprout out little wires that look like hairs on your balls. And for all my female viewers out there, it'll look like the hairs on your balls too. Anyway, I don't think we're going to need the wrench anymore. So we're just going to leave that bad girl right here. And now we gotta get the most important thing of all. Chippoos! You gotta get chippoos. These are literally chippoos. I'm not even being racist right now. It says chippo right on the bag. And now all we gotta do is go to class because we gotta get students on this floor. If you give them the chippoos, I think that they're just gonna go to the nearest fountain. So who are we gonna give it to? Should we give it to you? Yeah, we're gonna give it to you. The vending machine gave me an extra bag. Would you like to try it? Free food? Sure, I'll take it. Okay. So now we're just gonna watch Sakubi Dooby eat our delicious, delicious chippoos. Wait, he's gonna go to that fountain right there. Yummy. Oh my god, I did this wrong. All right, so our first victim is gonna be this pink-haired skank right here. The vending machine gave me an extra bag. Would you like it? Free food? Sure, I'll take it. And now we're just gonna watch him munch on our salty, delicious chippoos. Wait, why is he eating it like that? He's on that lean. What the heck? Bro! Why is this dude Michael Jackson moonwalking all the way to the fountain? But anyway, he is about to go drink the water, I think, unless he's stalking me. Bro, personal space. Okay, there you go. So we're gonna turn this on, and now we're giving him the shocker. That's that when you nut and she keeps sucking face. Look at that face. That's the most pleasurable face I've ever seen in this game. But yeah, guys, we gave him a bag of delicious chippoos. He went to go get some water, and the water fountain caught a body. Let's actually end the day, and let's see if we're gonna get caught from this, or if we're gonna get away scot-free. The school day has ended. Faculty members must walk through the school and tell any lingering students to leave. While walking around the school, a faculty member discovers a corpse. The police arrive at school. The police discover the corpse of Otiko Hoko White. The police are unable to locate any murder weapons. The police question all students in the school, including Ayane, but they can't get her because she's so goddamn evil! Alright, let's do this again. I kind of like this area right here on the second floor in the corner. I don't know why, so let's plug it in, and then let's, uh, actually we don't need to do that yet. 
Let's take out our screwdriver, get the pubes coming out, and we gotta get a bag of chipus. What kind of other chipus do they have? Do they just have one chipu? So they got chipu right there, the classic kind, and then they got chipu popper. They also got Kiki's Choco Cookie Flavor Chocolate, and we also got Mom's Basement Cakes. That sounds like some freaky deaky shit right there. And the last one is Magical Fujita... what? Magical Fujita Onion Potato Chips. I'll stick with the classic chipos, thank you very much. Alright, so here comes the team of freaks and geeks right now. We are actually gonna bring the salty snacks close so they can all go at the same time. So let's put you here put you here and last but not least let's get this started okay so we'll give you a snack and then come on grab the snack grab the snack shit this might not work because they're all gonna go at different times oh my god i'm messing up i'm choking guys i'm choking hard all right last but not least give you the chips there you go so now everybody's eating their bag of chipos this girl's gonna go there first okay um hold on i gotta create the leak i forgot the goddamn wrench Oh my goodness, I am choking so hard. Guys, I can't believe I forgot about this big old bitch right here. Everybody drank some water too. They quenched their thirst. Oh shit, I killed myself. Wow. <laughs> no. Oh, that is next level dumb shit. All right, here you go, guys. They're coming up. I'm gonna shock him first. I'm just gonna keep flipping this on and off. And let's see if I can shock Midori. No, she's actually getting water. Wait, what? Hey, ladies! Pippi, your man's is getting shocked right now. He is getting extra crispy. What is going on with you girls? Wait. Hold up. I'm turning this on and off because I thought it would keep shocking them, but it's only shocking him. Wait, let me not press anything. The shocking stopped. What if I turn it on? It re-shocks him. So this is basically like a reset button. So once he stops getting shocked, I turn it on, and it's like an endless loop of nipple shockers. I can't believe this. We can shock this dude forever. And before anybody asks me to do this, I'm going to see if we can offer the chips to senpai, the delinquents, teachers, or anybody that we think can't get any chips. The vending machine gave me an extra bag. Would you like it? No thanks, I'm full. Okay, so I'm trying really hard, guys, but there's no way I can give senpai the chipos because every time wrong? I get close to him, I drop it and get my eagle on, so we can't give it to senpai. How about we try giving it to a delinquent? The vending machine gave me an extra bag. Would you like it? Get that garbage out of my face. All right, so let me try this out, guys. I have Pippi, Ryoto, and Midori that ate the bag of chips. So let me turn this on. I got her electrocuted. How do I get them electrocuted? Do I got to wait for it to stop? Let me see. It stopped. And I don't know how to do it. They're both walking up at the same time. Oh, my God. They look like conjoined twins. This is perfect. Oh, my God. It can't get any more perfect than this. So let's turn it on and hopefully can get both. Come on, I already see the thing electrocuting. Get both? Okay, it got one. Ryoto is kind of just drinking titty milk. And he's gone. If I keep turning it on and off, they continuously get electrocuted like they don't stop. Hold on. Let me try this. Put it right here and just keep pressing the switch. Yeah, see? All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator. If you guys have any comments, questions, challenges, or myths for my Yandere Simulator myth series, make sure you guys leave them in this comment section below, and I will choose the most creative and unique ones. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!